How's it going guys? The High Performance Dailies update has just been announced. We know everything that's going to be within it. I'm going to announce it all in this video. Here is everything you need to know about the current new update for Horizon 5 High Performance Dailies. Let's start off with the Festival Playlist and all of the new cars within that. So for the full series, for 80 points, you can get the BMW M2 from 2023 and for 160 points, the Lucid Air. The first month, now there is one new car per week for the whole month. So for summer, so for 20 points, we've got the first new car, the Ford Focus ST from 2022. And then for 40 points, the Hyundai i30N. So that Ford Focus ST is the first of four new cars. The Forza on shop for that first week has the Aston Martin DBS, the Benty Bentayga, the Minecraft Theme Horn, a Lion T and Lion Socks. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. Autumn, which is the second week. For 20 points, you can get the second new car, the Toyota Camry from 2023. I know lots of people are going to be excited about that one. For 40 points, you can get the Lexus LC500 from 2021. And then in the Forza on shop for the second week, you can get the Mercedes-Benz GT4, the Audi RS7, Karaoke Emote, a sundress and some shoes. Here are the rest of the challenges available for that second week. Up to the third week now, which is winter. For 20 points, you've got the Ford Fiesta ST from 2023. This was the one uh, shown in the Playground Games sort of announcement teaser so we knew that was coming the other cars we didn't know for 40 points on that third week you can get the Renault Clio from 2016 Forces on shop for that week has the Aston Martin Vantage S, Bentley Continental Supersports, a wah 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 horn, and a bear hat and a bear sundress. Here are the rest of the challenges available on the third week. Spring for 20 points, you can get the fourth new car, the SRT Durango from 2021. And then for 40 points, the BMW M3 from 2021. Forza Land Shop has the Audi RS7, the Porsche KN Turbo, kickups, a moat, and a doodle pattern hat and a doodle pattern skirt. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that final week. So that's the full festival playlist. That is all of the new cars for this update. There's only four, it's a bit lacking, but okay. The Ford Focus ST, the Ford Fiesta ST, the SRT Durango, and the Toyota Camry are the four new cars. What else has been in this update? Well, we have the new race routes. There's four of them. They are all road sprint races, and we can see here, we've got the Cloverleaf Sprint, we've got the San Juan Sprint, the Rocosa Sprint, and the Val de Rio Sprint. They're all kind of near the left-hand side of the map. You can see all the routes there. Those are the new race routes. We've also got new accolades. One is for owning all of the high-performance daily cars, and then there is also a accolade for each of the new race routes. So there's five new accolades in total, four for the new race routes, and one for the collectible. We've got a new artist outfit. If you complete the week one photo challenge back to school, you will unlock it. You can see what the outfit is here. It's like an artist outfit, nothing special there. And then we've also got the new collectible and new event lab props. Now this is a bit of a strange one. The only event lab prop we're getting in this update is the business suit tank. 
that's it. There's no other props in this update, which is weird because on the splash screen for High Performance Dailies, it did say new event lab props. So I don't know if maybe they were delayed or maybe they just didn't have anything else to put on this page because it is a pretty small update, this one, which we'll get to in a minute because there are some things missing. So yeah, that is the new collectible, which is also the only new event lab prop. There's a few bugs and fixes in this update. As usual, you can see them on screen. There will be more things fixed, but we won't know until we get the full release notes. So that is it for Series 37. There's not much within it, but I'll remind you that the exciting thing is what's coming halfway through this update for Gamescom. At Gamescom, we're getting a new game mode and new partnership announced, as we've, as we've spoken about in my previous couple of videos. Well, this live stream announcing this update didn't really mention anything. However, if we take a look at the new updated coming soon page for the next update, which is going to be Hidden Horizons, what do we see here? Some exciting things. We can see the stadium maze, new game mode, new cars and new clothing. Now what this tells me, because it says new game mode, this game mode is going to be announced halfway through this current update, High Performance Dailies, isn't going to come out until Series 38. So yes, it's getting announced in a couple of weeks. You'll actually be able to go see it at Gamescom in person, but it's not going to come in this update. It's going to come in the next one, which is a bit of a shame. That means we have got to wait until September the 12th to probably play what this new game mode is and see this new partnership. I don't know if the stadium maze is a clue though. Maybe that's a clue to what the new game mode is going to be. Maybe it's, well, maze related. I don't know. You may have seen my previous video. We took a look at some of your guys' latest guesses about what the new game mode could be. Some recent news that does kind of add to that is the fact that James has announced that he is leaving Donut Media. The reason this is relevant is because Forza Horizon 5 has worked with Donut Media for updates in the past. We're expecting another one. People speculated that the new partnership we're getting was going to be that final Donut Media update, but things are just still crumbling back over on the Donut Media world, especially with James leaving. So I don't think the high, I don't think the Hidden Horizons update, the new game mode partnerships, anything to do with Donut Media anymore. We can definitely maybe sack that off we did have fantastic ideas from you guys car soccer and car football is a great idea cops and robbers car hunt we know that this game mode is community inspired and that's what we really should be focusing on people point out that the most popular event lab creation which is obviously community inspired has been no hezi maps and other realistic city maps so no hezi game mode or no hesitation if you don't know what that is we spoke about it in the previous video we've not had any word on what the new partnership's going to be it could still be a brand it could still be a non-related car brand it could be absolutely anything but we have been talking about this a lot lately because we maybe expected a little bit of it to come in this update but it turns out it's for the next update so we're not going to hear about that until then so that's pretty much it for series 37 guys we'll talk more about the new game mode when we find out what it is on august the 20 whatever it is when gamescom comes out so keep an eye out on the channel it'll all be on there leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all later